Linguists know that rhythm is a vital component of language learning. And rappers would be lost without rhythm. So head of French Hilary Meadowcroft thought that a cross-curricular project to create a rap in French might prove both enjoyable and valuable. Two, three, four. There's a certain amount of synergy in how pupils learn a foreign language and how they learn in music because there's an emphasis on rhythm and rhyme and pronunciation and it seemed to me that we could take both those areas and work on a project which spanned music and French. When you write things down it's like you're writing it down but it's not actually going into your head but now you're doing this you've got to like to remember it. This programme will show you how Hillary implemented the project for two year seven groups and one year nine. <laughs> Hillary is head of French at Lim High School in Cheshire and she wanted to develop a cross curricular project that engaged both pupils and teachers and provided an opportunity to be creative for both. The whole thing about creative learning is that the teacher is learning to be creative just as much as the students and the teacher uses as a starting point his or her imagination. To be successful, the project had to start with the basics. So in early lessons, teachers emphasised correct pronunciation. Le plan de ma maison, describing the rooms in your house where they are. Follow the golden rules of French pronunciation to work out how each of those new words is pronounced. We focused in on the house today, the various rooms in the house and the vocab for that. OK, if you made a golden rule for this word and other words ending in these letters, what would it be? The X is silent. C'est super. The project became genuinely cross-curricular following careful liaison with the music department to find a scheme of work that suited both subjects. Today's lesson is like we've just been doing, keeping a steady pulse but also adding some of the key concepts of rhythm that we've been learning about as well. Let's just get that pulse going again. One and two and three and four and... Rest, rest. Okay. Anybody thinks they can add? Come on down. The process as far as music is concerned is we're dealing with, with pulse and playing sort of pulse games, rhythm games and really getting the children confident in building up layers of, of rhythm. Then French vocabulary was introduced. With the help of my French assistant here we're going to do the vocabulary and we're going to repeat it. My real concern was making sure I was getting the, um, the vocabulary right, making sure I was getting the pronunciation right, which uh, I, I think was a particular concern for me. But to be able to uh, have assistance from the, from the French department on that um, really helped. What we're concerned with is getting the vocabulary of the words, getting the rhythm that is inherent, that is in those words when you break them down to those syllables, and getting them against that pulse that we've just created. So your first task is to break down maybe three or four pairs of words in your groups and to create a chant, think of it as a chant, think of it as a rap, that will fit over our rhythm of, or our pulse of. And then the next stage is to bring those rhythms or those words on top of one another or side by side in some creative musical way so that they were taking a little bit of ownership of where the, the words came within the pulse. 
and of course finally adding the instruments to it to give it a, a better texture. Let's have a listen to see what some of you have produced with that. They tambourine, they chambre, they sound, they jarre, they sourre, they cambre, they pose, they jarre, they sound, they sala, they sala, they bottom. Well done. Next, the pupils were briefed to create a rap using what they'd learned to date. I reckon we should get rid of the arms bit. Look, go through that. Does that, does that actually work, that Pluto Dynamique? Onto the Floyd D, Illy Blue the Sheet, Pluto Dynamique. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it works right. all right, doesn't it? All of a sudden, it makes them realise that they've got a little more freedom with the language. Um, it makes them be more creative and makes them more inquisitive about the language. They come asking for language and seeking language that they perhaps might not have otherwise done. New song gangster, new film and new fresh air. New Donna V, a ball to seek. Who took that that me? In a to seek. New summer gangster, new film and new fresh air. New Donna V, a ball to seek. A lot of them commented that it will really help them to remember those words and it was more interesting than just learning them from the page for a vocab test. It's better than usual lessons because it's more fun and it's better than just writing things down. Because so when you write things down, it's like you're writing it down, but it's not actually going into your head. But now you're doing this, you've got like to remember it. So it's sort of nice. And we're going to try and learn it off by heart, so we'll have to remember the vocabulary. Instead of doing a test, we can assess their learning um, with a task like this, and we can really see who has um, achieved higher than they perhaps would have, who has really raised their attainment, and who's consolidated the language that we've actually taught them and is now more comfortable with it than they perhaps otherwise would have been. Mon père est sévère, ma mère m'enève. Je ne suis pas le fil parfait. Je suis désolé, je suis désolé. The final stage was to import a real rhythm and language expert, rapper MC Crystallize. I'm down to ride with anybody that wanna ride. Richland to Longsight, Mosite to Shanghai. I don't wanna mess with, nobody's out. But there's some things that get to lies, like white rappers, snitches, and backstabbers in a pit full of snakes, and there's no ladders with them, the jokers, smokers, whack ass promoters. I see you bring them engineers that can either tweak an EQ. Your when I was thinking about the project and where I'd like to take it, I, I decided that I'd like to bring a rapper in to school. And um, there are lots of agencies around who um, employ artists who can come into schools on a day or a half day basis and Crystallise came in and um, he did a really excellent job and the children were really really inspired and motivated as a result of seeing an artist okay. perform. Right, how's was, was, was everybody feeling all right? Yeah? yeah. A bit more energy. How's everybody feeling all right? Yeah. Okay, can everybody speak French? Yeah. We. Oui. Oui. What we're going to do today, we're just going to try and work on structures, a bit of timing like you've been working on in your classes. We're going to work on a bit of um, dialect, projection, all these kind of things what lead to MC and performing in any kind of zone or any kind of way. I think the key to this project is that there's a real purpose to what they're doing. That, you know, it's, language learning is quite often learning a set of words that seem not particularly relevant to the um, students in the classroom. But in this case, they knew that they were going to take the vocabulary and use it to make up a rap, which really captured their interest. And they were really looking forward to the rapper coming in. And, it, and that gave them enthusiasm and drive to complete the work. The whole structure of music and all that, it's all on the change now. You are probably the, the pioneers of the next level of music and beats what come out, because everybody's looking for the new thing. It's extremely easy to create raps in, in any language, and, and the French language is no exception. Even pupils with only six months of, of language can develop raps in French because you're just concentrating on the rhythm and the pronunciation. So I'm going to do it in different styles each time. You've got to follow the syncopation. If I do it in a, in a bodily, if I do it in a physical way, you've got to try and copy the physical way as well. Yeah? So that's everything. The way I say it, the syncopation and the performance, what I'm giving, yeah? So we're going A, E, I, O, U. 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 A, 
E I O U. Within rapping now, once you've wrote a rhyme or a poem or a spoken word or anything, you have to memorise it really, so it's good to memorise, because that's what they'll do with hip-hop that they watch on TV. They might not understand it, but they can memorise every word and repeat every word back to you. They might not understand it, but that's why it helps. It's repetition of it when they're in the bedroom playing it 15 times a night. The same kind of thing. So if we make something that's in school, that's towards the curriculum, that is funky at the same time and up-to-date, it engages them, they'll probably take it home, listen to it and study language without even knowing it. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go around the class and we're going to read the rhymes out in a group, try and be syncopated together, so you're saying it the same way. So, do you want to start first, yeah? La la la, la la la, jam jam. 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 It's not just like sitting in a classroom and writing it all out and just listening to the teachers say it. You actually, because it's someone different, you feel more involved. At first, you're a bit shy, but then you sort of get into it and you want to do some more. Forgot the, the melody to it. Can you think of anything just off the top of your head? So it don't really matter because words are their own, their own beat inside themselves, you know. The jardin, jardin. The tambourine. The sonder, sonder. The chamber. The garage, garage. The paysage. The bordon, bordon. The salon. The campagne. The montagne. What's up with that? Yeah, that's fantastic. That's good, even without the beat. You see how you make your own beat? We're still into it for a beat for you. It has sort of made me get more involved in the French lessons because if there's like a word, then I just think about it using music. So it's easier to remember and it, it has helped. And it's good. <laughs> The tele, boom boom pitch. The salo, boom boom pitch. The bordon, boom boom pitch. The entree, boom boom pitch. The brie, quite. Wicked that though. It's better because you get the beats in your head as well, and you put the words to the beats, and then you get, and then you you, you remember how to pronounce the French words. How difficult was it to organise, involving two departments and an outside resource? Brie. I had some funding to get the wrapper in, um, so that was a great advantage. As I said, if you don't have that benefit, you could still do a creative project like this between the departments in your school, and perhaps the final product would be a performance by pupils for fellow pupils of the raps that they developed. One, two, one, two, three, four. They've done great, they've done great. Some star rappers in the class, some star rappers, French, bilingual rappers, that's what it is, isn't it? So they've done phenomenal, it's great. Did everybody enjoy it anyway? Yeah! Was, was, that, was that good enough for you? Yeah! Merci, merci.